What's up, you guys? I am doing an update in today's video, and I've got a new hat. This will probably be my new hat I wear in videos. I don't know. It's um, a hat that was supposed to be for a... Uh, I don't know if the video actually made it onto my channel or not, but long story short, I was going to do a music video kind of thing, and... Um, this was part of the costume for one person and it never got to them and I didn't want the money I used for the costume to go to waste and I like hats so I took the hat but I took the costume as well because it's also like a really good cosplay and I can use that at awesome con this year so yeah but I also like the hat. The hat's like really cool. It's really different from the different other hats I've had. Um, because for the most part, I wear my Pokemon one. So this is really cool. I really like this hat. Because, you know, I'm weird. And I like hats. But that's not the update. The update is on my wedding. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm getting married. Well, yeah. I'm getting married out... I'm getting married um, in about roughly nine months. Um, on December 14th to my boyfriend of I think we just went on five years. 13 December 18. Yeah. Yeah, five years. We have been together for now over five years um but yes we're getting married i think i did a video um fun i did a video um a little over a year ago that's actually completely silent and i've never taken it off my channel because i'm too lazy and i don't have time to just like go down and go oh i'm gonna take you out you don't need to be on this channel anymore um but no, I did a video that's titled I'm Engaged. That's literally all you need to know from that video. It's completely silent. But yes. So I've been engaged for over a year now. Um, I, th I don't even think I've talked about the wedding or anything. Or anything about my engagement on the channel since that video. Um, but a lot has actually happened over the past few months. We've figured out the venue. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm filming this on a Tuesday and this is coming out a little bit later. So, I've got my wedding dress. It's not physically here, but I have it. I bought it. Um... We bought our wedding bands. Uh, I've got my father-daughter dance song picked out. So it's slowly coming together. Slowly. So. I think I've mentioned on the channel before I go to Liberty University through their online program. And for those of you that aren't familiar with Liberty, it's a Christian college. So it's kind of funny because I'm not uberly religious. So ironically enough, I go to a Christian college and nonetheless, I'm getting married in a church. Um, part of the reason why we chose our church is money reasons. Uh, apparently, I don't know if all churches do this, but since we're members of this church, it's free. So, yeah, so it's free. Um, we get to use our, uh, our uh, no, sanctuary. We have a place called Burgess Hall that's in the church, and it's where we perform the uh, church plays every year. And that's gonna be where the, uh, the reception is. Uh, we're getting married in December, like 10 days before Christmas. So, we were told we're not allowed to take out the Christmas decorations, which 
seems kind of a ridiculous thing that you would think because we're getting married so close to Christmas, but that's okay because I love Christmas and I like Christmas decorations. So I don't mind that at all. I'm completely okay with that. Um, I think late January. This all pretty much happened at the same time. Um, like January 2nd, I went uh, to a few different jewelers actually I was off this one I don't even remember why I had off I had off this particular Sunday something happened and I actually had off because Zach was off anyway that's beside the point uh, we went to the mall um, and we originally went to K's that's where Zach got my engagement ring actually um, and we weren't we weren't impressed with the lady that was working. And we really weren't given like financing issue or deals so we can make payments to pay off the ring. Um, and just the way, you know, the lady that was working with us just, yeah, she just wasn't cool. We did, we, just didn't feel comfortable with her she gave off this persona that she was better than us um because you know she works for K's so obviously she's very rich um but I don't like her I hate the fact that she's working every single time I go in to get my ring checked because every like six months I have to go in and get my ring checked you know because of some warranty thing or whatever do I like doing that no but I do it anyway because I have to um, but then we walked around for a little bit and then made our way to Hellsburg which is actually where we got our wedding bands he got a uh... excuse me he got a, uh, a simple gold band and it's got like little like three diamonds that kind of go in a diagonal. So he got that. Um, I got, mine's a band but it isn't. It's actually really cool and I have it with me. But I think it's in my parents' gun safe I think I could be wrong but I'm like 90% sure that it's in the safe I need to know the location of that so when I go and get it size because it's not my size um because I've got big fingers for a woman but I didn't want because I'm still trying to lose weight I didn't want to go and get the ring size for my fingers now and come to find out it's like too big come December so I'm going to go and get it sized in like September or October that seems good enough and fair enough for me well anyway uh, But it's um, one of those rings where my engagement ring kind of just sits in it and it's almost kind of like a wrap but it's I don't think I've talked about what I actually was like hoping for and wanting for the ring but I wanted um, blue sapphires on my band it obviously had to be a silver band because my engagement ring is silver well it's a white gold but you know whatever it looks silver and um, I like blue sapphires, and ironically enough, uh, Zach's birthstone is sapphire. So it's, it's kind of ironic, but it fits. But I specifically wanted sapphires. And mind you, I was content with just going on to like Amazon and buying a ring from Amazon. But he was like, no. 
we need to go to an actual jeweler. I'm like, fine. Almost $3,000 later. With a card that I'm probably only going to use once and then get rid of. Because of financing. But that's okay. Uh, we literally just put like 400 on to that to try and pay it off. So that's okay. It, it's fine. Anyway. Um... So yeah, it's a little kind of wrap kind of thing, and it's got blue sapphire, so it's actually what I wanted. It's a little bit more than what I wanted. Um, it's got diamonds as well as the sapphire, so it's kind of an added bonus. So it's a, everything I wanted and a little bit more. So yeah, and I'm super excited. I went into Marquee afterwards and like showed the girls working my ring. I was like really excited about it. Um, the excitement wore off. And all uh, the general manager got was a picture. He only saw a picture. And that's okay. Okay? That's okay. I don't feel like asking for my parents to go and, like, unlock the safe. So I could bring it with me and end up losing it. So, yeah. So, we had that. Our venue got picked out. I got my wedding dress. It's got pockets. Um, I have a picture of it. But on the off chance that Zach sees this video, um, I'm not putting it in there or in here. So, yeah. Um, but I don't have the dress with me physically. It's not hanging in my closet or anything like that. It, um, it had to get ordered at, uh, online at Davis Bridal. okay uh but that'll be in stores well in the store ship to the store at some point between now and april so i'll get it at some point within the next month um i think we actually agreed on the flowers and then my dad and i decided on our father-daughter dance what we're dancing to, um, which is actually kind of funny because we're not, most of the time it's like overly sweet, mushy songs. I don't really think the one we're dancing to fits that. We're both Avril Lafine fans and fans. And part of, like, what came to the decision of an Avril Lafine song was I've got a tiara. And that was something that we bought along with the dress. And that's the only thing that Zach has seen and I was wearing it. And I was telling my parents I was a motherfucking princess. And <laughs> my dad being the Avril Lafine fan that he is was saying that I got it from one of or one of her songs because she has to use that line in numerous of her songs and was pulling up just you know all these different songs that had it and my mom's just sitting there with her laptop trying to pull up this tim mcgraw song <laughs> and he goes no 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 no, i got it and he plays this one song and it's it fits for that type of dance um so we picked out Innocence by Avril Lavigne. My parents are hiring a DJ. So I, I went into the account the other night and put that in just so they're aware of that. That's the only thing we got song-wise. Um, which, by the way, if you just type up Avril Lavigne for, for them, it doesn't pop up. But I think, like, Skater Boy does. That doesn't even make any sense as to why Skater Boy would, like, pop up, but, you know, whatever. Um, but, you know, I had to type it up individually. Um, and right now the topic of discussion for Zach and I is our first dance in Honeymoon. And right now we are kind of back and forth with a couple of songs for our first dance. 
Um, I guess that'll be another video once I, we finally like agree on one. And then for the honeymoon, we're thinking, I brought this up to him earlier. Um, I wanna go to Australia. I got back into watching Crocodile Hunter videos and I really wanna go to the Australia Zoo. Um, so he said he's gonna consider it. He's gonna think about it. Um, but he also said maybe a cruise, so. I'm content with either. I like the Australia idea just maybe a tiny bit more, but we'll see. Because he asked me how I'm going to deal with the spiders because they have really big spiders over there and I don't like spiders. So that'll be fun. But that's pretty much where we're at when it comes to the whole planning thing. Um, but yeah. So that's the update. That's all I have for an update because that's as far as we've gotten. But for us being nine months away, that's, I think that's a lot, honestly. I really think that's a lot. Oh, 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 one thing I forgot. When I got my dress, um, his cousin and sister went on because they're part of like his side of the wedding party. They went on and started looking at like, um, stuff for them just like on clearance to see what they had and his cousin found jumpsuit a jumpsuit and she was actually trying to get me on board and say that they were going to do jumpsuits you know for because they're part of like the groomsmen and I live by the philosophy of if you're not comfortable with it I'm not going to force you to wear it because I'd hope you do the same to me so, well, she was comfortable with it. His sister wasn't. Um, but long story short, his sister, or his cousin has the jumpsuit. That's what she wanted. We're not gonna force her, you know, to, to get something she didn't want. Same thing with his sister. But she's got a jumpsuit. So she's wearing a jumpsuit, which is pretty cool. It's got pockets. Um, so I think I'm gonna heavily influence everyone to try and get pockets that are in the wedding party but yeah anyway that's the last bit of that update um if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed hit the subscribe button and i will see you all next time bye